Welcome back to the Visser Podcast, where we blend science, strategy, and a touch of skepticism to optimize your health span and lifespan. I'm Dr. Richard Visser, and today we're revisiting a hot topic from our episode on the groundbreaking compound that's generating a real buzz in the world of metabolic and longevity science. And really, this is a news break, okay? And in the end, I'm going to have something for you. So stay till the end because I got some very important news to share. I'm talking about NA931, the oral quadruple receptor agonist that just might outperform retitrutide, trizipatide, and everything else on the market. And here's the kicker. It's not just about weight loss. It's about building lean muscle mass, improving body composition, and targeting multiple metabolic pathways at once. Yes, we talked about this, and I'll go into it briefly. But this is kind of the holy grail, right? Um, it puts everything before this. All the stuff we were excited about, you know, from the GLP-1 to GIP to GLP-1 and GIP, all these different things that we talked about, this puts them to shame. This outperforms. And the reason is, is because all the drugs up to now... Well, great for weight loss, um, you know, retitrutide being the top there. But there was always a problem of muscle loss, too much muscle loss, and frailty. And this has, looks like, been resolved here. So, the initial, initially when I presented this, I did not talk about, you know, how far they were with... Uh, the data and the testing and the trials. So we have good news. We've got, this is, this is news breaking, okay? So let's go through it. We now have new clinical data straight from the 2025 American Diabetes Association Conference. And we're breaking it down for you. I'm going to really go over this. What is NA931? And why does it matter? It's a revolution in this space. Let's zoom out. NA931 is not just another GLP-1 mimetic. It's a quadruple receptor agonist acting on one, GLP-1 for appetite control, insulin regulation, and satiety. GIP, enhancing insulin secretion and potentially modulating fat metabolism. Glucagon, increasing energy expenditure and fat oxidation, and also the noise, mental noise. IGF-1, this is, the, this is what breaks everything, right? IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one. And this is the big one. IGF-1 activates, activation means we're not just preventing muscle loss, we're encouraging muscle growth. And that last part is crucial. Most weight loss drugs, like I said before, cause muscle loss, which means you lose health span, even if the scale says otherwise. This is where NA931 is different. Now, the phase two data suggests a dual action, significant fast loss plus a measurable increase in lean muscle mass. That is phenomenal. That's what we've been waiting for. Right? This does it. So, yes, there still needs to be some testing done. Let's talk about the numbers. Let's talk about where we're at and what still needs to do. In the phase two clinical trials, NA931 was tested in overweight and obese adults. Participants took the compound orally, non injections for you, injection phobic people, and there's a lot of you out there, over a multi week period. Okay, top line results, according to Biomed Industry, showed statistically significant weight loss. And we knew this already. Marked reduction in visceral fat, super important. Increased lean body mass, improved insulin sensitivity, no major safety concerns. This is rare. Most GLP-1 agonists like Ozempic or Munjaro reduce fat, yes. But at the cost of muscle, this increases muscles. And here is where the IGF-1 activation comes in. 
Na931 may stimulate muscle protein synthesis while simultaneously reducing fat mass. That's the holy grail of metabolic therapy. Seriously, this is this is big. This is big. So let's break down the IGF-1 pathway because this is why Na931 could revolutionize longevity medicine. Um, uh, yes, I'm excited. I'm sorry. I'm excited because this is really what I've been waiting for. Okay. IGF-1 is critical for muscle repair, bone health, and even cognitive function. Chronically low IGF-1, which we see in aging or in people with long-term GLP-1 uh, use, leads to sarcopenia, frailty, and even loss of independence. We don't want to go down that road. See, that's why this is so exciting. But superphysiological IGF-1, that can be very risky too, especially if not regulated, okay? So taking your GH growth hormone and, and, and just, you know, going super heavy on it can be dangerous, okay? So, what NA931 does, it might be hitting the Goldilocks zone. What do I mean? A mild activation, enough to counter sarcopenia, but not enough to raise cancer concerns. That's speculative for now, but early biomarkers trend look promising. Okay, so we need that. IGF-1 to spike because we need that muscle, but we don't need it to spike hugely. It needs to just give us enough, all right, to give us some gained muscle while we're losing uh, the weight. So, how does NA931 compare to retitrutide, the current poster child of weight loss? You know, after uh, Eli Lilly's, you know, uh, trizipatide, retitrutide is the the one, right? How does this stack up? Well, let's do this. Okay, so if you look at retitrutide, we got GLP-1, GIP, glucagon, right? NA931 adds IGF-1, all right? It's retitrutide is injectable, NA931, oral, muscle preservation, limited. Muscle gain on early data on the NA31. Visceral fat loss, both of them are high. Trials completed phase two, and phase three is on their way. Phase two completed. NA931 may be the first legitimate oral contender that, that surpasses retitrutide. Critical domain of body composition quality. This is where it surpasses. So, I got something for you. I got something for you because I've had so many comments come back on this. Um, you know, people being disappointed and going, well, when can I get a hold of this? And when is it coming? Why are you talking about it already? What are we talking about? I mean, just, I, I understand. I understand. And I wasn't expecting this for a while, but it came sooner than I thought. So I had to do this. And not only that, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you the ticket to get involved in the phase three trial. Yes, they're open. And here is where you come in. Okay. Phase three trials are now recruiting Biomed Industries inviting eligible participants to join the next phase of this groundbreaking study. You can learn more and apply to participate at biomedind.com clinicaltrials.html. Okay. If you're struggling with metabolic dysfunction, obesity, or want to contribute to science while gaining access to cutting edge treatment, this is your moment. I mean, this is like the gift, okay? So, of course, always consult your own physician before joining any clinical study, but this one is worth looking into. I mean, there's few that I would be like excited about joining. This one, yes, worth it.
All right? So that's my gift to you. And that's why I had to bring this. I had to bring this up to date because this is hot off the process. So my final thoughts. I think NA931 represents a new class of prescription metabolic therapy. It's not just weight loss, it's body composition engineering. And that changes the game for aging, performance, and longevity. We want to be anti-fragile, right? This is key. But listen, of course, we still need long-term safety data. We need comparative studies versus retitrutide or trisipatide. Clarity on IGF-1 modulation across, across different populations. Still, this could be the first, first oral therapeutic that burns fat while building muscle. If that holds true in phase three, we're looking at the potential blockbuster in the making, and more importantly, a tool that aligns with our longevity first philosophy. Check the links below for full clinical data, and if you're ready to step into the frontier of metabolic medicine, apply to the trial. Thank you. Subscribe, ring the bell notification, we keep going, right? I'm bringing you the latest stuff. I'm letting you in on clinical trials. Let's do it.